Okay, this is how you debug and get the blower to work on a 2005 Chevy Silverado. Two important fuses to be aware of is one is under the hood. It's a 40 amp blower fuse. And the second one, um, the first one is always connected to the battery. It's always being fed um, down to the resistor pack. Uh, the second one is a 30 amp fuse right next to the driver's side door on the side panel. Um, you got to take a little plastic panel off, but that 30 amp fuse is feeding this blower motor switch. If the switch starts to get flaky, then some of these speeds um, will not be able to feed the voltage down to the resistor pack. Um, but there's really two modes of operation. When you when the switch is in the high position, um, it, what it does is it takes this. Uh, uh, B plus going through this 40 amp fuse it, it that is fed all the way over here to the resistor pack and um, That's coming in on G So so basically the 12 volts is coming in on this uh, relay here and then what's controlling the relay is uh, this letter F which turns out to be connecting up to the high connection. So the 12 volts of the switch goes to the high and then you should hear this relay click. And when the relay clicks, it's gonna be bringing uh, 12 volts from the B plus fuse, 40 amp fuse, right into the motor. And then that motor should spin as long as there's a ground over here on, on uh, terminal E. So when you're using the high of the motor, um, the relay is engaged when you're using the other doing the other speeds low medium one medium two and medium three <clears throat> that 12 volts which is a switched um, on the run condition uh, when your key is in the run condition that 12 volts comes down to this blower switch and then it could feed these multiple speeds here uh, when those 12 volts Come through those speeds it's gonna come over here and it's gonna it's gonna feed this resistor pack here and inside of the resistor pack um, like when, when you go and feed something on this B terminal here it's got to go, go and flow through each and one of these other resistors and eventually it gets down and, and feeds through the uh, the relay which is normally closed and it's gonna turn on the fan Let's say if this resistor right here, this uh, on terminal C here, um, if that resistor blows, then that blows out all these other speeds because they're all fed in series. So um, this uh, motor, when it turns on, there's two modes. One with when the relay is normally closed for the slower speeds, and the second um, point of the relay is when the relay gets activated and now you've got a high speed coming through this relay with no resistors enabled. That's probably the simplest uh, way to get the motor going without, you know, if all these resistors are, are blown out, then you can still count on maybe the relay being uh, usable. Um, so that's, that's what I would do uh, when I'm trying to figure out why this fan's not turning on, I would uh, make sure the 40 amp fuse is good, the 30 amp fuse is good, and then um, assuming you can measure the, the 12 volts coming down over here on this uh, G uh, letter on the plug, um, you should get 12 volts there. And then um, once again, if you, you hit letter F with 12 volts there, that that's going to activate this relay so you should hear maybe the relay clicking perhaps um, you can hear that and then from there once the relay is clicking you're going to see that this letter D turns on the blower fan um, you know if the fan doesn't come on and you really wanted to use the fan you could you could directly connect 12 volts on this uh, A terminal of the fan um, but that's not going to shut off um, if you got connected directly to the battery you know when you're leaving your vehicle 
Uh, but then if you do want to test out the resistor pack, probably the first one you want to test is this uh, medium speed here. So that one um, is the C. So if we trace that one back, if we come down here, it's, it's probably it's probably coming over here to the uh, medium three. So if you're using medium three to, to low, you gotta get your 12 volts um, going through this resistor divide down, and that's gonna slow down the motor. By the time that 12 volts uh, gets into the motor, it's gonna drop maybe, could be 10 volts, eight volts, seven volts, and then the motor goes slower. So hopefully this is helpful um, for uh, getting your blower motor working somewhat. And then this other comfort control uh, section here for setting the temperature, um, that's not really required to get the this uh, blower motor to spin. Um, that's working some of the uh, duct work in the truck. Anyway, hopefully you find this helpful and good luck with your repairs. Thanks.